Hello, this is Motivated Gnome here, and this is my tutorial for a custom Xbox dashboard wallpaper. First, what you're going to want to do is go to the site in the description, and there's no downloads included. You just save this picture. I just saved it to my desktop so I can easily get to it. I saved it as a Xbox dashboard template. And then I went to Coral uh, Photoshop Pro. You can use anything you want, but I went to Google, typed in 1920 wallpaper, and these are the results I got. And I took uh, this template right there. And you're going to want to make sure you click on the picture and go to see full size image because otherwise you'll get a small picture and then uh, wait for it to load here go to save picture as and I just saved it at the desktop right next to my dashboard template I just saved it as dashboard, uh, dashboard template background now I go to Photoshop and I open up the image and I copy this and I paste it onto the template and I move it in there because the image I saved this image is too big so I couldn't use that as the dashboard wallpaper I had to copy it onto the template now I close this image here now I typed in to Google a image of bullets oh there's a little piece of stuff on the side there showing I don't know if you can see that so I had to adjust where the background was here there we go now I just went to Google and I typed in bullets and I went to the second page I believe but I think it's on the third now I don't know how it's just moving back there but I found this image of bullets and there's a background with it so I had to form around the bullets and erase everything except for the bullets which is very frustrating and it takes a while so I had to speed it up and clip a little bit out for you guys but we're not to this part yet here I'm looking for the image see we're already on page two now we're on page three and page four page four I guess right there I just see right here I save the image without going to, um, clicking on it and going to see full size image which made it too small so I messed up and I had to go back and do it again as you'll see somewhere soon here See, I'll open up the image and it'll be too small. So I'll have to go back and. You know. You know. I don't know if you guys can hear me breathing. For some reason, I just breathe abnormally loud. You guys might be able to hear me breathing not really sure I hope you can hear me talking right now I've been having some troubles with my mic alright so now I get the big one and I open it up first I close this and then I open it up 
trying to do it all speedy like for you. Alright. And then now is the very not fun part. This is not fun at all. I don't know if you guys have had to do this. But it's not fun. You just gotta erase everything except for the bullets. And that sucks. Takes like 10 minutes and it's very frustrating. Here we speed it along for you until... See right here, I speed it up really fast. This actually probably took me about 3 minutes just for this part. Just erasing all this black stuff. Actually, I'm already done. Never mind, but... That... Oh, that took forever. I remember I just... Once I accidentally closed it, I accidentally closed the image, so I had to do it all over. But it's it's very frustrating. But finally done, I paste the image. It looks pretty beautiful. Um trying to figure out where to put it. I eventually put it to the left here. Right there. Set it down. Now I go to text. I just put gamer tag as a sample. I actually made a motivated gnome one and I tricked it out a little bit more. It looks pretty sweet. But you know. You know how I do. Actually you probably don't but alright, make the text red. I'm trying to figure out where to put it. now save it as and now you're gonna wanna get a USB flash drive and save it onto there make a new folder or if you have a folder you wanna save it to just save it to there I already had a folder made now you'll see the preview of it that's my other background I made I didn't think it was cool enough so I, I decided to make this one plus I wanted to make the tutorial but as I, as I was making it I decided that it's much cooler than the other one see I just previewed there now when you're looking at that you push Y to apply as background use the picture as your background and that's it. And that was in picture library. By the way, I do not have a capture card. This is actually a video camera recording this on a flat screen TV. I don't know if it looks pretty good for a camera. I don't know if a dazzle is better quality, but if it is better quality, just let me know because camera is actually very difficult to record on it's a very big hassle so tell me if the capture card is better quality a dazzle for like 50 bucks tell me if it's better quality or not because I don't wanna waste my money on it and then not get good quality you know but that was the tutorial, so um, subscribe, rate, comment. Um, there should probably be some more tutorials coming out soon. And a Hardcore Headquarters trailer pretty soon here. So subscribe for that. Peace.